Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to grow seeds or cuttings in a mason jar with a net cup, hydroponic pebbles. These are uh, clay, clay pebbles right here, and grow cubes. So, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get a little cup or what I'm using right here is just some Tupperware. And we are going to soak the grow cube. Uh, you'll see right here, it's gonna absorb water pretty fast. I like to kind of just move it around, make sure that it gets nice and nice and soaked up with all this, uh, all the water. So now that we have this, and now is all that is wet, Kind of shake off the excess water. Set this down right here. We have some seeds. This one's right here. What we're going to do are going to be some farmer's market jalapenos. So we're going to open these up right here. You can use either two or three seeds to make sure, or to give you a better chance of actually them germinating in, in these. So the next thing I'm gonna do is make the hole just a little bit bigger, just enough to put those seeds in there. For this one, I'm gonna actually just use two. I'm gonna save the other one. Kinda sit them in there. And then very gently, just kind of cover them up. You know, you don't have to bury them too tight. You definitely don't want to be squeezing, squeezing these because you can actually damage them and it'll be harder for the roots to be growing through it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take a Ziploc bag. Set the cube in there. And now I'm going to put this in a very bright location um, under a grow light. Uh, I, when they're in this state, I try not to give them direct sun. So somewhere that's very bright, I, maybe a southern facing window with the blind closed if it's a light color, um, like white or something. Um, they'll take about a week to two weeks for them to sprout. Uh, you can, instead of using peppers, you can use lettuce, um, tomato plants, um, herbs. And another thing you can do with these is I like to propagate house plants. And I have a lot of these, you see these right here, these arrowhead plants right here, just the cutting that I just took. These things grow really fast, and I started out with one plant. Now I have too many, <laughs> but they're so easy to propagate. And all you have to do is these in particular will grow roots from the nodes. As you can see, there's like little baby ones here. This was not in water. I actually just clipped it. And all you have to do is set it like this in the middle, kind of. Get your hydroton, your clay pellets. Pour it in there. Try to get it nice and even because this is what's going to be supporting the plant. And there you go. So let's clear some of the stuff out of the way. And now I'm going to show you once your plant gets to a certain size from your grow cube, either it be a pepper plant, herb, um, herb plant, or like uh, basil or something, once it gets to a certain size, you're going to start opening up the bag. What I do is when I'm getting ready to start putting it into a hydroponic system, like this cracky method that we're going to be doing, 
I start to open up the Ziploc bag about halfway. I'll unzip it halfway and just leave it open. And what that does is it helps acclimate the plant to the room t the room air. Inside the bag is very humid. It's a lot of water in the air. And it's used to that. If you, if you just get this plant and just pull it out of the bag, you know, it's a good chance it'll die within the day or two. It's going to start shriveling up really bad. And... And it's just going to look really dehydrated even though there's water in in the grow cube still. Um, it's the leaves that, that are not acclimated to the dry air. Um, you leave it like that for about a day. The next day, I kind of open it up, let it breathe. And then with then leave it like that for another day. What I do after, gently pull this guy out. And he'll be acclimated to... Um, the air he's actually been ready to come out for the last day or two and so what I would what I'm going to do here get some more of these clay pellets and get my neck cup I'm going to give it a little a little bit on the bottom there we go. So we're gonna give it just a little bit, not too much, you know, not too little. When they get in this stage, you're gonna start having some roots that are coming out of the bottom. If you kind of see them, sorry, the lighting's kind of bad in here. But well, you're gonna have roots growing out of the sides and everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy in the middle and just do the same thing that I did with the cutting and just fill him up with this. this is going to give him some support and help hold the plant as it grows so once you have all this done you're ready to put it in your mason jar and you're going to have, I have right here, the grow nutrients. And this right here, it's already pre-measured pre, um, uh, for it to make one quart. And this is a one quart mason jar. So I already have some right here that I've pre-made for time's sake. And we're going to use the pepper plant as the example. And... We're going to set it right there and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fill this up to where it barely touches the bottom of this neck cup. I usually don't like to pour it over the clay pellets because since there's nutrients in here, you know, the, the pebbles will turn a little white. It's not a bad thing. It's just more cosmetic. It's something I'm going to have to look at. I'd rather not. So I'm going to guesstimate at first where it might be I know I need more than that but let's kind of just see where we're at so we're gonna add a little bit more and there you go so you see right here where it is barely touching the bottom get a better Barely touching the bottom of the neck pot. So I did put the little layer of the clay pellets on the bottom. So this water is still not touching the bottom of the grow cube. You know, we really don't want the water to be touching the grow cube. Um, you know, it's going to have time for the roots to start growing out. And um, this right here is perfectly fine. As the plant starts to grow, the water level or the nutrients will start to go down as it's going down you'll start seeing roots coming out to the side and coming out to the bottom and they, that is what's going to be drinking up the nutrients you're really going to want the ones that are growing here on the sides those are the air roots um, what it is is there's just a lot of water in the air inside this container so 
that's where it's getting all the moisture from. You know, you're going to have a lot of plants that grow, a lot of roots in the bottom, but you are going to have a lot growing around here. Um, I usually use, let's put this guy on, keep the, everything secure. I usually use a, uh, a wrap, a fabric wrap or something, kind of, depending on the occasions, you can kind of change them out, make them look a little festive, especially if you're growing them where you're going to be look at it, looking at them all the time, and that's going to help keep down the algae growth, you know, because of the sunlight that's going to be penetrating and hitting the water, you definitely will get some algae growing there, so these right here will definitely help you out with protecting against that, and right here, oh, I'm sorry, and so if you're going to be using this one instead of the pepper plant that I just uh, put in here, let's go ahead and get this guy out. Since this is a cutting and this is going to be or can be grown in water, what I would do is get the remaining of your, oh, here we go, of your flute, of your, um, nutrients here or even just water you can grow these without the nutrients especially um, start them out with um, without the nutrients and they'll grow roots within about a week but what I would do is this water level I would bring it all the way up to the top right here so that will give me a better chance of the nodes staying in water and as the water level goes down that they'll remain submerged if you put it down too low and just kind of get the tip you got to make sure that it is always going to be at the level or higher than the node, so that way the node will be able to develop roots. So that's what you would do with, with a lot of these indoor plants that, are, that you can propagate in water. This is a really nice way to do it. And I have a pepper plant right here. Let's get him. That's, I've been growing. It's towards Christmas time, so we have a little... Something more festive <laughs> colors here. Right here we have a peach gum tiger. As you can see, it's already starting to grow. Get some little buds there. And if we pull these off, we could check out what the roots look like. Use these little twines or rubber bands easy to to use but i like to use these because they look a little more festive and um farmhousey i guess you could say so here are the roots on this one right here and as you can see it has a good amount of roots here and this is just um a little bit of nutrients and some love some light and you'll have a beautiful plant and look how big these leaves are. These guys are pretty, pretty huge. So yeah, so there you go. That's a really easy way to start plants in a hydroponic system indoors. Either you're growing um, a pepper plant, tomato plant, basils, um, indoor plants. Um, what I can do is I'll grab a couple of my other indoor plants that I propagate and I'll add it on to this video right here towards the end so if you want to check out a couple of those you can uh, stick around and I will be putting those up right now hey and welcome back so here's a couple of the other house plants that I been growing um, using the same the same technique and here is like I said I have a lot of these arrowhead plants and they just grow so well and what I love is just all the variations of colors that you get um, throughout you know the plant's life uh, I have a real big one that I just keep on clipping and here's another very easy as you can see I'm not top feeding this one but <laughs> you can see that I've been feeding from the top right here like I I said you'll get a little bit white rings but a little rinse off and They'll definitely come off. Here's one that's just opening. A lot of different colors. And here's this guy. This guy is a one that 
spills or drapes and a lot of roots. This guy drinks a lot. I have to fill this all the way to the top, maybe every three days. It drinks so much, but it gives me uh, blooms inside. They look really nice. I actually have them on top of my refrigerator facing, um, facing south. And no direct sunlight. I grow these right here in a bathroom that doesn't have a window. And they grow really, really easily in, in low light. It's just I don't have no special light bulb in there. It's just whenever the light's on, you know, I have kids. Sometimes I leave them on, you know. But besides that, you know, very, very easy to grow and very easy process to um, get them to root and get these big, strong roots in a like I said, it's these nice, healthy, healthy plants here. Well, thank you so much for, um, you know, checking out my videos. I hope that this is informational for you. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can pick up some of these items, um, even some kits that I put together. And um, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And you guys have a great day. Thank you.